I see uh, the borders being liquidated. Uh, I see all these calls for censorship, calls for us to be shut down, you know, that I shouldn't have free speech on this week on ABC. Uh, I mean, let me tell you, it's creepy when every major TV news show says I'm a horrible person but won't say what I said or misrepresents. And, and then I know used to they used to try to set me up, Fritz, and say, let's attack the State Department. Let's blow this up. And I'd say, come on, you're a cop. You're a Fed. Get a camera. And then, you know, they would get mad and run off. They've kind of backed off. They had me physically attacked. I know they tried to frame me quite a few times. They've kind of not done that in a while because I never fell for any of it. I know from your story, I followed it in the newspapers. They just kept raiding you, claiming you were dealing drugs. You had no criminal record, no drugs, big Christian. Finally, they just grab you, have an informant with a long record of lying, say you robbed a bank with no evidence. I know they basically tortured you with what they fed you and stuff in prison for a decade. I, I really ask, you know, did, did they warn you beforehand, back off or we're going to do this? Because they used to call me up, you know, phone would ring, there'd be no number on the call already, and they'd say, we're going to kill you or put you in jail if you don't shut up. I'd say, well, do whatever you have to. I, I can't, you know, be part of these lies. But I've been left alone so far, except for dirty tricks and stuff. I, is it because I got big enough they don't know what to do? Uh, or... Because I like talking to you because you've been through the ringer. I mean, you're a true political prisoner, like out of the New Testament or something. Well, what do you think about my situation? Because obviously I think about it a lot. Because, I mean, I'm getting, let's not exaggerate, 10 times the demonization, 15 times that I ever got before. And when you've got the host of ABC Nightly News, the host of CBS News, t saying my name as if he's speaking the name of some Attila the Hun or something, uh, you know, with their back all straight like they're talking. I mean, they're like alerting their own minions that I'm so evil. Uh, that's that's really creeping me out because first they try to assassinate your name before they assassinate you. Right. Well, they realize that we're, at least from their perspective, that we're all going to get our comeuppance. Going back to something what you said earlier, the general principle is as evil always contains the seed of its own destruction. So these people are on a collision course with uh, what they're doing, and uh, you know they're, in, they're they're looking at us as we're the ones that are are going to get to come up and we're we're going to be taken down. But the truth is is they also are are going to be taken down because their own deeds, uh, like you were saying about these intelligence operatives, it's going to collapse on them. In fact, the revolution always eats its own children. So, yeah, as far as as what I foresee happening to you, I think that, that uh, for you and I, we will, we're going to be out, left out here until there's a general... Uh, can I say a roundup where where we're just included with the general um, arrest of, of people? That's right. We won't be targeted to elevate us into martyrs. We'll be scooped up in well, the major purge. Right. We'll just disappear quietly some night. Uh, so, um, so, so we're the canary in the coal mine. <laughs> yeah. Growing up, did you ever imagine you'd be in this bizarre position? I mean, for folks that don't know or other people that are jealous of you or I because we get a lot of attention, I don't think they get. This is not fun at one level. For me, it's a duty. I've got to do it. I mean, I can't just lay down to being taken over. It's an instinct. What is it for you? Well, it was a calling. I, I felt a calling from God. And, and the original uh, calling I received was back in 1978. And after about a year of of doing what I thought I was called to do, I actually tried to avoid it for about 10 years. So um, I, ha I was a little bit like Jonah, where I saw that I needed to warn people, but I backed off for 10 years and then realized, you know, this is what I'm called to do and I just need to uh, buckle down and do it. Um, and again, after did it feel the, better once you just submitted to God's will and did it? Yes, uh, but you know, after you've been in prison for eight years, it's it's uncomfortable to come out of prison and having experienced all of that and jump right back and get back into things. You did seem shell shocked at first, but you're back, Fritz. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'd yeah, say you're I, back about 80%. I mean, you used, I mean, you still you have a powerful presence now, but you used to have a really a powerful presence in person and, and on air and stuff, and you still do, but I could tell it really tore you up in prison. Yeah, it, it, everybody's going to get, uh, um, after being knocked around a little bit, it, you know, it takes a little bit out of you, but um, I, I'm here and I'm continuing to do what I feel I was called you to do. You know, the look it, you have in your eye is like those guys that would be in a Viet Cong prisoner of war camp. It show photos or film before and then after when they walked out with that shell shock look. That's the look you had in your eyes when you came out of prison. It's almost gone. It's still there. I'm not insulting you. We've been praying for you. But it's obvious they did a lot of bad stuff to you, brother. We'll be back. So they, they all have their talking point that I'm bad before they do something. So just pray for us. Uh, but, but the danger I feel in my gut isn't just, just for InfoWars. The evil is moving into an accelerated, I use that word every hour, a super acceleration. And I'll ask Fritz Springmeier of Bloodlines Illuminati fame this question. Are they accelerating because they're desperate? Are they accelerating because they're arrogant? Are they accelerating because they believe enough of the public is in a trance? Or is it a combination of all three? What is the state of the new world order right now? All three. They're arrogant. They don't think that uh, they can be... Uh, knocked out of their position of power, that their power is so embedded in the warp and woof of society that no matter what happens, they're, they're going to stay in power. And they also are jittery. The fact that you look at how large scale Jade Helm is, the, the flip side of that is, is that actually is encouraging. It shows how uh, terrified they are of the real Americans, the American patriots. And um, back when you were at uh, West Point, did you ever hear of any drills like this? No, no. And then you have this West Point uh, Combat and Terrorism Center, which got involved for the Obama administration. They didn't even have anything like that when I was at West Point. And, and, and the Obama administration has taken out all references to the in the Quran of fighting jihad. They've eliminated all of the references in their training manuals about air, uh, Islamic terrorism, supposedly we have won. And so... Oh, now they like, say it's the Christian and the, and the veterans the enemy. Yeah. I mean, this stuff is so over the top. How do they get away with it? Because people are, are just so focused on trying to, to uh, live paycheck to paycheck that they're, they're not really monitoring sensibly what's going on uh, but their their lives are at stake we're we're in a situation uh, you know prior to war, just similar to prior to world war ii when when the war broke out and you have germany under uh, uh in, in a sense martial law situation people now have lost all civil rights that's where we're at right now and people really need to start waking right. up pulling their head out of the sand, um, we're, we're, we're at a very critical time point in time. Um, what do you think the next big shoe or shoes to drop are going to be? Well, the, uh, the, the second in command at the IMF, and Christine Lagarde is, is Illuminati. She's the head of the IMF. And she has this Chinese doctor who's her second in command. He has gone around and told people that the IMF this year will announce that China has been upgraded to one of the nations with a reserve currency status. So uh, that is projected to happen in October. If, if that does happen in October, we're going to uh, see some major problems for for the american dollar and uh uh yeah china is just really pushing hard to become reserve currency status that's right and everything's I coming into place it's kind of like when you've been doing the jigsaw puzzle in the last 15 pieces or so it's bam 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 you start slamming them in five minutes of overdrive and that's it for the transmission infowars.com forward slash show folks spread the word don't take the broadcast for granted please pray for us and support our local affiliates god bless you for $15 an hour, unions to likely increase their dues as businesses shut down.
Minnesota teachers compared to KKK during white privilege training. That's Infowars.com. You cannot make this stuff up. Uh, Obama is taking over all water, including puddles in your backyard, claiming it's federal jurisdiction. I'm going to cover this more tomorrow. I didn't get to it. Emergency powers give Barack Obama authority over just about everything during a major national crisis. You can read the PDD 51 for yourself and HS. PD-20, catastrophic emergency means any incident regardless of location that results in extraordinary levels of mass casualties, damage, or disruption, severely affecting U.S. population, infrastructure, environment, economy, or government functions. It covers all scenarios. And then it gets into some other ones. So just know this stuff's out there. Fritz, they're really building up uh, the hype in the movies, TV, the pre-programming for... A war against patriots. Are you concerned about false flags? Just like you were set up on a, on a micro scale, uh, on the macro scale, are you worried about false flags? Because I see that as a good move for the globalist. Uh, they haven't done it yet uh, domestically, I think, because they know there's so many people watching and they're worried it won't fly. What do you think, Fritz? I think that the chance of some more fl false flags is probably 100%. And, uh, I, I would expect that. What's uh, what I have found interesting is not that they have done these because uh, I realized that they were going to do these clear back in the early '90s. But what's been amazing is is that people like yourself have been calling them on it, have been exposing them. You know, exposing how the the Boston Marathon thing was done with actors and so forth. And so they're they're not getting by with all of this. And uh, um, so, so that's the positive side of it. Certainly is. We got two minutes left. Uh, final comments. Anything else you'd like to add? Again, Fritz Springmeyer, author of Bloodlines by the Illuminati, available exclusively at InfoWarsStore.com. People need to uh, not fear what's happening in the future, but be concerned enough that they do the things that's going to mitigate. Uh, you know, to, to throw your hands up and say, well, there's no hope or nothing that you can do is, is, is not the correct attitude. And I know on your show, you're, you're constantly telling people, you know, what they can do to help, you know, colloidal silver and some of these other things. These things will go a long ways towards mitigating the problems that are coming and people should, uh, pay attention and, uh, continue to stay informed and not allow themselves to be paralyzed with fear, but realize Absolutely. that um, the, it's just like in the Civil War, one of the great lessons Ulysses Grant learned uh, early on in the war, that the enemy was just afraid, as much afraid of him as he was of them. So uh, uh, keep the courage, be c courageous, be of good courage, people. Pentracks.com to find your other books. Absolutely. You know, I, I talk about things from my perspective, and people say, man, why are you fear-mongering? Why are you trying to scare folks? See, if I hear about something scary happening, if my neighbor calls and says, I just saw some guy breaking in your back door, I'm not going to tell the neighbor, how dare you try to scare me? I'm going to say, thank you, Bob, or thank you, David, or thank you, you know, whoever, and I'm going to get my gun. And so for me, I just want to know this is happening I think other people want to know what's happening. Uh, we can't magically think here and just think if we out of sight, out of mind, ostrich with their head in the ground, that it's all going to go away. It's not. It's going to get worse. And so we're here as modern-day Paul Revere's. You, the listeners, are just as important as we are, more so, ringing the alarm. So don't take it for granted what Fritz has gone through, what others have gone through, what we've gone through to a lesser extent to bring you this information. Thank you, Fritz Springmeyer. Thank you. God bless you, my friend. Pentracks.com, that's the site.